Hi, I'm Daniel Newman, Professor of Arabic at Durham University. Some years ago, I discovered a collection of previously unknown medieval Arab recipes at the Welcome in London. It's a very unusual and rather mysterious manuscript in as much as it's anonymous and undated. The catalogue lists it as possibly coming from the 18th century. However, if you look at the manuscript, especially the content, the types of recipes, it's clearly of a much earlier date. Before the discovery of this particular manuscript, uh, we knew of nine recipe books spanning a period between the 9th and 15th centuries. It's divided into 17 chapters and has a total of nearly 170 recipes. It's highly significant because it actually I believe informs us about the very earliest tradition of um, medieval Arab cooking. To me it was particularly exciting because it constitutes the missing link between pharmacological recipes and straightforward culinary recipes. It's wonderful to be part of this kind of community uh, that brings together different kinds of expertise and research areas. Interest in food history and food studies in general has been increasing dramatically uh, over the past decades. And I think that it's due to the fact that food is such an, an integral part of our lives. In addition, we live in an increasingly globalized world and the interest in food studies, I think, is also linked to cultural uh, changes in our societies. The pandemic also gave a very powerful boost because it was the only thing that people could do whilst being confined in their homes, it was to cook. And so we have here a discovery of recipes of the past, but also more importantly, recipes from other cultures. And so I think the interest in food studies will only increase in the future.